Hi, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this needle tatting bow. For this tutorial, you're going to need cotton thread and uh, you're going to need a bead to go on the center. It's up to you what size you want to use for that. And you're going to need a bobby pin. I ordered mine on Amazon. And it came in a pack like this. And you're also going to need something to hold, to put in the bead, you'll see. And, okay, so, and also you're going to need scissors. Okay, so you're going to need about six inches to eight inches of tail for, for this first part. Okay, and you're going to start with five double stitches. One pico, five double stitches, another pico, five double stitches, I'm trying to pull my tail a little bit shorter. Not that short. Don't come at that. Okay. okay. One more pico. Five double stitches. Okay, so this is what we have so far. And we're going to close our ring. Let the loop go in there. So we need the loop. I don't know why it's twisting on me, but it's okay. We'll get it in there. Okay, so that's our first ring. And we're not gonna return we're not gonna reverse our work we're just gonna do a little a little knot on the top okay we're gonna do another five double stitches We're going to join. Five double stitches. Pico. Five double stitches. One more pico and five double stitches. Okay, so let's close our ring.
and we're not going to reverse our work again. We're just going to make a little knot on top. And we're going to do five double stitches again. This is very easy to do. Let's join. Five double stitches. Pico. Five double stitches. One more pico and five double stitches. Okay, let's close our ring. Okay, at this point we're going to reverse our work on our last ring and now we're going to make a chain of only five double stitches. Okay, so before we continue, um, we're gonna also need a hot glue gun so to attach the bobby pin in the back. I'm not sure if I said it already, but just in case. Okay, let's join now. And just make sure that you're joining, that your chain is on your left with your ring. Sometimes it can twist and you join to the wrong one, okay? Like I did before, so just be careful with that. Five double stitches. Pico, five double stitches. One more pico and five double stitches. Okay, so we have our chain on the left, right, next to our stitches. So let's close the ring and just remember we're not return we're not reversing our work. So we're just closing up this ring. Okay. Just make another little knot. And let's start our next ring. Five double stitches. Make sure it goes all the way to the bottom. One. And let's join. And if you hear some screaming and yelling, it's because my kids are playing outside. Spring break. Okay, so we joined and five double stitches. And um, for this pico, we're going to make a large pico because this is gonna help with our bead that we're gonna use. So let's just do a large pico and five double stitches. Now another regular pico like the other ones and five double stitches. Now 
Okay, so this is what we have so far. And let's close our ring without reversing our work. And my tail still in there. Let me just find it. Okay. And just make a little knot if you want. You don't have to, but it just makes it a little bit more secure. Okay. So we have three rings in each cluster, and we're gonna do four clusters. So this is the third ring of this cluster. So five double stitches. Okay, let's join, and that's my son clicking his mouse in the background playing Minecraft. Okay, we join, and five double stitches. Pico, five double stitches. another pico and five double stitches okay so we are going to reverse our work on our last ring So we're closing the ring, and now we're going to reverse our work, and do our little knot on the top, if I can get it off, let me push my work back so you can see, okay. There we go. And now we're going to do another chain of five double stitches. So we're going to put our needle right in front of our ring, just like that, and do five double stitches for our chain. Okay, so that was a very short chain. And we are going to reverse our work. Okay. And we're going to do our last cluster of one part of our ball. So um, let's do five double stitches. Sorry about that. That was my daughter yelling outside, so I had to stop the video. Uh, we're down to our last cluster. So we say we're going to do five double stitches. And we're going to join to our ring on our left. And five double stitches. Pico, five double stitches. One more pico and five more double stitches. Okay, let's close our ring without reversing our work. Oops, got all my stuff messed up. Come on out of there. Oh. Okay. Let me go under. Okay. Make a line. 
a lid on that and all these things are getting in my way. Another ring, that's our second ring from this cluster, five double stitches. Let's join. Okay, five more double stitches. Pico and five double stitches. Another pico. Okay, last pico of this ring. Okay, so then uh, let's close this ring without reversing and the next one, the last ring is a little different just because we have to join with our first ring. So uh, let me close this, uh, let's close this ring, okay, make a little knot. Okay, so let's do five double stitches. Okay, let's see. One. Sorry, this is getting on the way. Two, three, four, five. Good. And now we're gonna join. Okay, let's join. Okay, now five more double stitches. Okay, pico and five double stitches. Ouch, I stabbed myself. Ouch. Okay, let me see how many I did. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, now this is different because, okay, so we've been working like this. Now we have, okay, we have just like this, right? Ah. Excuse me. Okay. We have our work like this. We have our needle in front of our work. And we have our tail in front of our work. Just like that, right? Now what you're going to do is you're going to grab your needle with your tail and push it behind your work. So now you have it like this, right? And now you're going to turn your work around like that and put the, the thread from the ball behind your needle. Okay, just like this. And now what you're gonna do, okay, so just like this. Now we have our needle in front of our work and our tail and the thread from the ball behind the needle, right? And our sti stitches are facing to the, to the right. Okay, okay, so now that we did that, we're gonna join. So we're gonna join to the ring that we did first. So what you're gonna do is gonna join like normal, making sure your stitches on your on your needle are facing to the right. And I'm gonna push my stitches up so it's easier to join. And then I'm just gonna join like normal. Right? Just like that. Okay. And I'm gonna do five double stitches.
Okay. So now I'm going to close my ring. So I'm going to push my needle and pull it through. And when I'm doing that, I'm going to pull my needle forward. You see that? I'm not pulling anymore, but look at those stitches. They're looking just like, like the rest of the ring. There's, there's our pico. See, so I'm just gonna put my fingers right here and start pulling, making sure that loop doesn't go inside the ring because I want a ring, I don't want a chain. So there's our loop. So I'm gonna go inside my loop, making sure it's not twisted. There we go. And I'm gonna keep pulling. And there's our perfect ring. See that, that looks beautiful how we join there. And I'm just gonna turn my work a little bit, just like that. And I'm just gonna put a little knot at the top. Okay, so I'm not reversing my work. I'm just putting a little knot at the top. Okay. Just like that. That looks good. Now I'm gonna turn it a little bit so I can do my chain, my last chain of five double stitches. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and I'm gonna pull my needle through my stitches just like that and I'm not gonna reverse my work I'm just gonna make a little knot at the top just to secure my chain just a small knot just like that okay and I want to go in here into this ring so since my both thread is on the top. I want it to look flesh like together with the ring. So if I go on top, you might get a little bumpy from the chain. So I don't want that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go right under, right under there. See, right under there. And I'm just going to keep pulling until that chain gets there. Look at that. That is perfect. Okay. So let's just make about three knots. If you hear a buzzing, it's because there's some construction going on across the street. So it's pretty loud. So there's one knot. We do one more. Just like that. Very tight. I'm gonna cut the thread from my ball. And as you can see, we have plenty of tail. And we didn't leave a long tail, but like I always say, it's better to have a long tail left over than have to add more thread, right? So now let's just weave in our threads, our, our tails inside our work real quick. And what you're gonna do is another one. Sorry about that, my son is home. Well, all my kids are home, spring vacation. So let's just weave in, I'm trying to see. You just have to weave in the ends. Whatever you can, it's very hard for me to see because I'm looking through my screen. 
So I'm just gonna go here somewhere. And I did those very tight, so they're very hard. <laughs> there. Good. Make sure I'm not tangling those threads. Hold on, I can't see. Okay. Sorry. Okay, so I did that. And you can go farther if you want to make it more secure, but I want to keep on with the video, so I'm just going to cut it real quick. And then we can start the next part of the video. Okay. I'm going to thread my needle. And we bend this end real quick so we can continue with our video. I'll just go in somewhere closest to where your threads are coming from. Okay. Okay, so now uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do another one just like this, except we're not doing the big uh, pico. Okay, so get more thread. Okay, and okay, get more thread. Like I said, about 12, 8 inches. I don't really measure Sometimes I just do it. And this is where this thing comes in handy. I know there's a lot of you guys that have uh, mentioned to me about a bead threader or something like that, which helps you put beads on. But I have found this little thing kind of helpful to me. So I'm going to just use it. It's actually the... I don't know, it's like that, I don't know what it's called, but you use it to make uh, lanyards and things like that to put beads on and make necklaces. And it's a little bit stiff, but not that stiff. So it kind of helps. So I'm just going to put both uh, ends inside the bead, just like that. And I'm just going to push it all the way down. So that make my bead going pretty good. Okay, so I'm just gonna put it down like that, okay? And, okay, so we're gonna start with five double stitches, right? We're doing one ring of five double stitches. So one, Okay, so we're doing the same thing we did with this piece. Okay, so pico, five double stitches. Pico, five double stitches. Okay, so we need three picos, one more pico, and five double stitches. Okay, so let's close our ring, making my tail shorter. Just like that. And we're now reversing our work. And let's do another ring. Five double stitches, make sure it goes the stitch goes all the way to the bottom. One. Okay, let's join. If 
by double stitches and we're not going to join right now to our other piece triangle uh, because uh, we're going to join in our second set of rings because then it will be too hard to be with it on the side so one for more one more pico five double stitches okay let's close that ring Okay, and we're not going to reverse our work. One more ring. Five double stitches. And let's join. I double stitches pico five double stitches okay and one more pico and five more double stitches Okay, let's close our ring and I'm going a little more fast just because this is we're doing the same thing that we did in the first part of our video okay so I'm going a little fast third ring we do reverse our work go under the teardrop and let's do a chain of five double stitches. One. Okay. There's our chain. Let's put the needle through. Okay, reverse our work. There's our teardrop. And make a little knot. Okay, second cluster. A ring. I'm going to start a ring. Five double stitches. Oops. Five double stitches. Let's join. Okay, five double stitches. Pico, five double stitches. I'm going kind of careful because I poke my finger a few times and it hurts. <laughs> I don't want to poke my finger again. Pico, five double stitches. Okay, so let's close that ring. Oh, my needle just came. My thread just came off my needle. Okay, just like that. And remember, we're not uh, reversing our work. Okay, let me thread my needle. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, so five double stitches. And let's join. Five double stitches. Now, okay, so this is our first cluster, right? It has three rings, one, two, three, separated by a chain. And this is our second cluster, and this is where I usually join to my other piece. So I'm just going to grab my other piece and, and right in there, I might have left a big, big, uh, too big of a pickle, pickle, but it's okay. So here's my other piece. So I'm going to grab my needle and go inside that pico, right? Because that's how we join. And I'm just gonna take that little piece off. Make sure your thread ball is in the back, right? Because we're gonna join. And then we're gonna join to our piece that we did before. So just like that. We joined. That was pretty easy, right? So five double stitches. Pico. Five double stitches. Okay, so this is what you should have right now, right? It just don't look like it's part of anything, it's just hanging there. So let's go ahead and close that ring. Okay, don't lose that loop. Where are you going, little loop? There's my loop and my tail is too long, so I'm gonna have to pull it in. Come on, tail, where are you? There it is. So I'm just gonna pull my tail out. Okay, so let's close our ring. And now it's a touch. Yay. Okay, so we're not gonna reverse our work we're just gonna make another ring just like this and this is what we have so far just like that we need one more ring and another cast, uh, cluster and we'll be done well almost done because we still have to attach our bobby pin but coming along good okay so let's do the third ring in this cluster and don't worry about this part just let it hang it's fine so five double stitches okay let's join Carefully, my stitches were coming off. Five double stitches. Pico, five double stitches. Okay, one more pico 
and five double stitches. Oops. Mm -hmm. Two. Two. Three. Four. Five. Okay. So let's close that ring. And since this is our third ring from our cluster, we're going to reverse our work, right? Come on. Go under. Okay. So we close that ring, and now we're going to reverse, making a little knot on the top to secure our ring. Okay, now we're going to make a chain of five double stitches. Don't let this get in your way, okay? It's fine. Just let it hang there. So five double stitches. One. Okay. Let's finish the chain. Reverse. There's our teardrop. Okay. Now we're down to our last cluster. Next ring, the same, five double stitches. Carefully, because sometimes when um, you start a new ring with a small chain, it kind of gets a little twisted, but it's okay. Okay, let's make sure we join to the right side that we're supposed to. So, Let's join to our ring, to our pico, I mean, from our previous ring. Five double stitches. Pico, five double stitches. One more pico, five double stitches. There we go. We're getting closer to the end. Let's close this ring. My thread keeps coming off. <laughs> Let me grab my tail. This is getting smaller and smaller, so we're not gonna reverse. I'll thread my needle after this. Okay, gotta thread my needle. Okay, so we need two more rings. Let's start the next one. This is what we have so far. Right, we're getting closer. Okay, next ring. If I can get this thread. Okay, good. Five double stitches. Just carefully checking your work. Make sure you're joining to the part that you're supposed to. Okay, just, okay. Let's join. Just 
like that five double stitches pico five double stitches One more pico and five more double stitches. Okay. Okay, let's close that ring. that loop come on I'm almost we're almost done I don't want to have to add more thread <laughs> let's without reversing let's just do a little knot and our last ring push those down so they don't get on the way put our needle flat on our ring and do five double stitches now let's join now remember this one is our third rings so we're gonna have to turn our uh, work and put our needle in front of our work like we did last time so five double stitches pico five double stitches okay so we did our five double stitches. Now, this is how we've been working, right? Now we wanna join to the other side. So what you're gonna do is push your needle to the back, just like that, right? And then you're gonna turn your work, turn your work, right? So your needle's in the front with your tail and your thread ball is in the back of your needle, just like we did in the last one. Okay, so now we're gonna join. Okay, so let's join. Okay, we're joining normally. Okay, and we want to make sure our st stitches are facing to the right, and let's do five double stitches. Okay, so remember what we did in the last part? Okay, so we go push, pull your needle. And when, when your thread is out, you kind of go forward, right? You go forward like that. And your stitches just start turning the right way. So just keep pulling it. See, just keep pulling it. Don't let the loop go though. <laughs> okay, let's keep pulling it. There's my loop. It's gonna need how the stitches do that for you and you can't even tell that you're doing that. That is cool. To me that's cool. <laughs> See? Beautiful. Now I'm gonna make a little knot on the top just like the other one. Just gonna turn my work a little bit just so my I can make an easier knot. Just 
just like that and we need one more chain so let's put our needle flat against our ring and do five double stitches one Okay, there's our small chain. And just like in the other one, we're gonna make a little knot on the top. I'm just gonna hold it. My tail is really small, so I don't wanna lose it. So it's just a small knot. And I'm gonna go under first just at the bottom of my ring okay just like that <gasps> looks so pretty so pretty okay let me make a couple of knots I'm taking my needle out because it's coming off so I'm just gonna make two knots very tight. One. I'm gonna make one more. And two. Ah, oh, that looks so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna cut my thread and I'm gonna weave in my ends and I'm gonna heat up my glue gun so I can show you how to put that. Uh, bobby pin on. Okay, so I weave in my, my ends and now I'm gonna touch my bobby pin. And this bobby pin came with this big round thing, which I don't think it matters. But what I'm gonna do and just gonna put glue right there and that part right there and also in the other side in the same spot. Just two dots. You can do more if you want to. I mean, that's just how I did it. And then I'm just going to put the bobby pin on it and press down on it. Just like that. Okay. So it's kind of like in the middle. and um, you can either add it before or after you harden your your bow or you uh, I don't know if you want to use it like this but um, just be careful it doesn't run through but um, you can use some glue uh, with water and then just you know make it harder and um, just peel that stuff later well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if it was any help to you, uh, let me know. And for my next tutorial, I had uh, one of my subscribers ask me about um, how to put edging on clothes. So I've been working on something. So uh, for my next tutorial, I will show you how I attach this to some clothes so thanks for watching and thanks to you to all my new subscribers and please if I can help you in any way or you have a question please let me know and I'll be I'll try to answer your questions thank you bye